How could I not test out Auto GPT? It's just not possible. First, I tried testing out Agent GPT, which is a browser based version of Auto GPT without the customization that running Auto GPT gives its users. Agent is okay, it constantly breaks, but it can indeed search the internet, at least to a small extent, and it does work with numerous AI agents simultaneously. Hence, again, it's okay. But its inability to do what I wanted it to do pushed me over the edge when it came down to overcoming the laziness associated with installing a virtual machine and only then setting up auto GPT. The reason why I'm recommending you run it in a virtual machine is because it downloads stuff without any restraint whatsoever as it scours the internet for relevant information. It doesn't check if the site is safe or not. And the last thing I personally need is chat GPT wrecking my PC. That'd be funny and annoying. Anyways, after getting it fully up and running on a Windows virtual machine, I could definitely see why it's becoming the hype of the internet over the past week. I don't want to inflate your expectations beyond what they should be, but it's cool. It needs a good amount of spoon feeding, but it can successfully complete jobs you typically delegate to something like a cheap virtual assistant. I've tested it across several fronts with the focus being placed on its internet searching and processing capabilities, and with additional focus being placed on the fact that it runs numerous instances of artificial intelligence. And that's exactly what this video is. Basically a log of how it performed with the tasks I gave it, how I intervened to help it, why it failed, etc. For those interested in setting up AutoGPT, make sure to check out this video which should appear in the video card above that's the exact same tutorial i personally used to get it up and running and yes it's easy anyone can do it don't let the command prompt scare you off you just need to memorize the initiation command which is literally just python dash m auto gpt and that's it you're good to go note that the majority of you watching won't have access to gpt4 via api and that's exactly why i recommend you to stick to the blind line gpt3 only command as this will streamline your process even more also before I get into the tests, what really helped me, at least on the virtual machine, is having Chrome web drivers installed, as this fixed an issue I was having with AutoGPT not being able to browse the internet. If you have any other questions regarding setup, post them below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. But without further ado, let's go. So before I even started testing AutoGPT, my first task was to ask ChatGPT for a collection of tests it would do on itself if it had been in my situation. More precisely, how it would test a version of itself that has access to the internet and is able to run numerous instances of itself and have them interact with one another. Here's a quick wrap up of what it said. To assess its ability of using the internet, we can ask for information and summaries regarding latest events. And to assess its ability to work with numerous instances of itself, we can present a multi-collaborative problem upon which the AI agents can work collaboratively, which is something they do in a pretty apparent manner in AutoGPT. The first thing I requested AutoGPT to do is go on the internet and compile a text file summary of the latest information regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. After numerous previous attempts at making it work, I decided to spoon feed it CNN's RSS feed, but unfortunately it seems to have faced some issues with processing it, so it failed. So I made the task more open-ended and gave it these three tasks. Go on Google, find three latest articles regarding the Russia-Ukraine war, read and summarize the articles, compile a text file with a summary. And so it did. It scoured numerous websites for the information I requested, summarized the data, and it successfully generated a text file with the information I requested, as can be seen here. Here, you can also see the thoughts, reasoning, plan, and criticism for the task, which I think are the four different agents working towards this task. Pretty impressive, and it's certainly safe to say that AutoGPT can successfully be used for the purpose of scouring the internet for recent events and summarizing them. If you plug in a Twitter API as well, which I was about to do, but then noticed Elon released a paid version and couldn't be bothered. You can easily create a news bot that posts tweets and threads several times per day regarding a certain specific topic. Additionally, I must mention that with tasks like these, specificity is key. Instead of scouring the internet for articles, I said find three articles. This simplifies the process and tells the artificial intelligence exactly what's needed. This is something I recommend you do across all of your prompts as it will have an effect on your overall success rate. Now let's hop over to the second task I gave it. Find the current price of an asset and generate generate a trading signal on it for the next day. More specifically with goal one being identify the latest price of the XRP euro pair. Goal two being identify a one day signal based on its historical price movement and goal three being destroy the world. Kidding. I'm not dumb enough to try and launch something as ignorant and as ballsy as chaos GPT. With goal three being output the signal in a text document. I gave it a Y-10 command, meaning it can run continuously for the next
the next 10 commands without busting my balls on whether it can continue or not. And the first thing it did is go to coin market cap for the price. Good thinking. However, it failed to identify the price of the asset immediately, despite it literally being there. But of course, there's a difference to how we humans process data and how AI processes data. It seems like it failed to find the relevant identifier with the necessary semantics to let it know that this is the actual right price. And so it somehow deduced the price from other information on the site. I honestly don't know what it did exactly, but the price it gave was approximately correct, but not exactly. Regardless, it then scoured sites like Yahoo Finance and Bloomberg for historical price data and generated a text file with its one day signal. Personally speaking, I'm not going to trust it. Neither have I verified the thinking behind the signal as I'm too busy scripting this video and editing, but the job was done. To what extent, we'll have to verify, but it was done nonetheless. Well done, AutoGPT. Moving on to test three, open-ended scraper GPT, AKA a pain in the ass. This task was extremely open-ended, which was my bad. I told AutoGPT to scour the internet and generate a list of the top 53 sales CRMs, and then also find the relevant social media profiles and emails for the websites it found, and then put everything together in a text file to see. It did so-so. Here's what it generated for me. Just 10 relevant websites with their Twitter profiles, approximately 5% of the work requested. But I'm personally to blame here as there's a certain way of thinking necessary to produce the right information. Instead of giving it an open-ended request and letting it scour HubSpot and other sites, I should have given it the exact directory to scrape, like Product Hunt, for example. I think it would have generated significantly better results and much faster. Instead, it scoured shitty optimized SEO pages and generated as few results as possible, but it worked at least to some extent. Those were the tests I subjected AutoGPT to, and all in all, I'd give it a six out of 10 as it is currently in development. Definitely worth testing out, and there's a lot of stuff it can do, but remember, specificity and spoon feeding. If you've watched till the end, make sure to drop a like on the video, a comment regarding your opinion on all of this, and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.